One of the more powerful features of the Genome Browser is the ability to add your own data as a custom track and view it alongside all the tracks described in the previous videos. Many different data formats are supported. If you are working with SARS-CoV-2 genomes, you might have BAM, VCF, or BED files. If you can place your file on a web server, then you can paste in the link to your file and it will become a new custom track in the Genome Browser. We will use as an example the VCF file from a sample that was sequenced at UC Santa Cruz in March 2021. The file is available down below in the descriptions in case you'd like to follow along. To add the VCF file as a custom track, click on My Data, Custom Tracks, paste in the link, and click Submit. Then, click to go to the Genome Browser. The new custom track is at the top of the image. Let's change the visibility mode to Pack to see more detail. We can see a lot of substitutions and also a couple of deletions toward the end of the genome. Let's look for interesting spike protein mutations. We can zoom in to the spike protein's ACE2 binding region by right-clicking on the Binds ACE2 item in the Uniprot Regions of Interest track. and we have two mutations in the ACE2 binding region. Let's zoom in very close to see the amino acid numbers in the genes track. These mutations are at spike amino acids 494 and 501. N501Y is found in most variants of concern. You can add highlights by holding down the shift key and dragging over the codon bases and using the dialog box. Or by holding down the Alt or Option key and dragging over bases to skip the dialog box and just add a highlight. This helps to identify corresponding features in other tracks and also as a kind of bookmark when we zoom out again. Let's expand the antibody escape track to full and add its companion track. Bloom Strong Mutations. Both 494 and 501 were found to have some effect on antibody binding. Let's zoom out again and take a look at deletions. The larger deletion is near the beginning of the ORF8 gene. We can click on it to see some more details. For example, its coordinate in the reference genome, and its size, 35 bases. 35 is not a multiple of 3, so this is a frame-shifting deletion, and we would expect it to knock out the ORF8 gene. Back in March 2021, the frame-shifting deletion in ORF8 caused this sequence to be automatically rejected by both GenBank and GizAid requiring manual confirmation to get the sequence accepted and making us wonder if sequences like this might be underreported. We used the Usher web interface, shown in the previous video, to estimate the number of introductions and to search for related samples, and we reached out to submitters of similar sequences in other states to compare notes regarding the deletion and growth of the lineage, which was later designated B.1.623. Happily, we saw no more B.1.623 samples in Santa Cruz after that. And like many other lineages, it disappeared when the Delta variant swept to dominance. I hope you found this introduction to SARS-CoV-2 data in the UCSC Genome Browser useful. To learn more about the web browser, check out the resources in the Help menu, and we're always glad to answer questions sent to our mailing lists. See the Contact Us page.